know what helps children to be confident and have permanent self-esteem? The understanding that they're a soul having a human experience. Let's look at the word human, hue and man. Light and man. It's the integrating of all dualities into one. Can you imagine the pressure it takes off children that they don't have to be this person to be loved or be that person to be a success? What if they're this divine spirit that plonks into planet Earth and says, you know what? I'm here to experience everything. Every single emotion, good or bad, anger, jealousy, resentment, love, passion, connection. When we allow children to be themselves, it allows them to work out who they are, not dictated by what we say and our conditionings. Yes, there's guidelines and boundaries of what is acceptable, not acceptable, but allowing them to understand that they are being. When we be ourselves, that's self-esteem. You see, we're not called a human doing. If I do this, then I'm perfect. It's about understanding that when I be myself. So what if your child, I'm gonna give you the greatest example. I love this. I experienced it myself as a mum, as well as other parents saying this in their consults and some of my courses. They would say, oh my gosh, you know, it's the worst thing, you know, just when we want the child to be, you know, the perfect child and not play up and all the rest of it, and we've got to impress my husband's boss, that's when they play up. They're a fair little snot of a child and like, ta-da, the child is being themselves. What if we just embrace that? When a child does play up, if you fully accept it, primary school or high school, and say, you know what, it is what it is. I don't know how, but it will always work out, going back to affirmations. Have a rose quartz in your pocket, unlimited, no headaches, no boundaries. If we allow that to happen and the child to be themselves and fully embrace, we're actually saying to the child, it's okay, you're still having a human experience, it's going to be totally fine. In fact, when a child yells at you, you know, your 15 year old yells at you, I hate you, mum, you're the worst mother in the world, I wish you were dead. Wow, what a supersonic, delicious thing. They've just communicated with you, they're in pain. It's an honour and a privilege that they've done that. Yes, set some boundaries, but they feel safe enough to express that they're angry. Something could have happened at school. One of the teachers could have said something. They might have failed an exam. They might not have got the A, they got an A-. Whatever the situation is, remember, they're still having a human experience. And in that human experience, it's allowing them to know life is a game, that you can change the game at any stage, and play, that allow them to play what they need to play. And look, there's going to be children that go off skew and do things that you don't want them to do, whether it be trialing drugs, whether it be trialing, um, I don't know, wagging school. Sometimes that's part of a soul having a human experience. How many of you wag school and how many of you still turned out okay? So remember, a child is a soul having a human experience. They're here to experience all of life. Love and accept them and guide them.